all the cells in the body require energy to perform various activities for this oxygen and nutrients should be transported to the cells circulatory system performs this function waste materials produced in the cells due to the metabolic activities should then reach the excretory organs heart in human beings heart is built with muscles and is situated in the rib cage between two lungs it is the size of one's own feet Its weight is around 300 grams and it is four chambered. The upper two chambers are called auricles and the lower two are called ventricles. The walls of auricles are thin and these auricles are divided into right and left auricles by a thin membrane. Deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body reaches the right auricle. Oxygenated blood from lungs is brought to left auricle by pulmonary vein. Ventricles are thick walled and a thin membrane divides them into right and left ventricles. Right ventricle receives deoxygenated blood from right auricle and sends it to lungs through pulmonary artery. Left ventricle receives oxygenated blood from left auricle. and supplies it to all parts of the body Now let us learn about blood vessels which supply blood from heart to other parts of the body and vice versa. They are thin pipe like structures. There are two types of blood vessels. Arteries and veins. Arteries supply oxygenated blood from left ventricle to all parts of the body. These arteries divide into thinner arteries known as blood capillaries reaching different parts of the body pulmonary artery supplies deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to lungs veins collect deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body pulmonary vein brings oxygenated blood from lungs to left auricle we all know that blood is red in color and in liquid form Believe it or not our body contains 5 to 6 liters of blood plasma and blood cells are two important components of blood plasma plasma constitutes nearly 55% of blood it is a light yellow colored liquid which contains water and salts blood cells blood cells constitute 45% of blood which float in plasma and move around there are of three types red blood corpuscles white blood corpuscles and blood platelets red blood corpuscles or rbc red blood corpuscles are round in shape and constricted in the middle They contain a pigment called hemoglobin which gives blood its red color. RBCs absorb oxygen from lungs and send it to the cells. Their life span is 120 days. White blood corpuscles. White blood corpuscles are of different shapes. There is no hemoglobin in them. Hence they are white in color. They attack different disease causing organisms that enter our body and give us immunity. They live for just 12 days. Blood platelets. Blood platelets are small and oval shaped. They are colorless. Platelets 
help in blood clotting and preventing bleeding. Their lifespan is 3 to 10 days.